hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content now the search for jobs out there is real many people are looking for jobs that are almost non-existent and until you've prepared yourself for the right opportunity you most likely are not able to land an opportunity and because of that also people have found themselves in the wrong jobs one of the major ways to be able to tell if an organization is going to give you the wrong experience is to look at their job posting so in today's video i'm going to share with you some tips to spot red flags in a job posting so stay with me and let's dive right in tip number one a big job description now I always say that interviews or a job relationship is a two-way street. The organization is looking for something that you have to offer. Most organizations or most serious companies or employers will put a lot of work in defining exactly who they are looking for so that it's also easy on your side to know if you will be the right fit or not. So you've seen a job posting on any site and the job posting is just vague you you've read from beginning to the end and you can't even tell exactly what they are looking for that is red flag number one you don't want to find yourself in an organization like that if they wouldn't put in the work to define exactly what they are looking for that same lousiness is what you experience if you join an organization like that tip number two not listing a company name most organizations out there and very good ones are always looking to put their employer brand out there and they are very very particular about their employer brand so most serious organizations will put their names at the very top of their job um, postings or job ads okay so they even put that there they give you a link to the website they even give a brief description of what they do so here you are you find a job posting and then they say a reputable company or a reputable firm is looking for so so and so if the organization is not proud enough to put their name out there then they are most likely hiding something from you and you wouldn't want to be partner with an employer like that so look out for organizations that are bold and proud to put their name out there in their job ads tip number three the same company posting the same job repeatedly over and over again now there are some jobs that are just um, difficult to fill sometimes because of location and other factors but generally if one company i've seen a particular company and i'm not going to mention the name that company has been posting the same job for at least three years now it means two things either they are not finding someone to fill the role or people come and then they leave people come and leave they are unable to stay and you don't want to be the one who will fill that position because you will most likely leave because of the conditions that are attached to a position like that or an organization that has a high turnover rate you don't want to be partner with an organization like that tip number five unrealistic expectations so you see this job posting and then they say um position level and they say entry level so they understand that the person who is supposed to fill this role is probably just fresh from school and hasn't gotten a six years experience and so they put entry level there and then when you go and read the requirements they are looking for someone that has six years experience unrealistic expectations if they are displaying that in their job descriptions on the job they are going to be expecting things from you that you are unable to produce that's how come many people enter a job and you know you enter a new job with fresh energy you want to hit the ground running and you realize that you don't have the expertise or you and your employer are on the are on opposite sides of expectations you are just unable to meet their need you don't want to 
get yourself involved in a situation like that another example will be maybe you are a developer a programmer and they are asking you in the job description that you should be familiar with a particular um, software and should have used it for at least seven years and this software was developed or um, came into existence about three years ago how is that even possible so you don't want to find yourself in a place where you and your employer are on different sides of expectation you'll be frustrated because they will be needing things from you that do not exist or you are unable to produce the next tip is what i call the bait and switch so you see a job description and or you see a job ad and then they put the salary range there the title everything and when you click on it to see you know what exactly they are looking for you realize that the salary range they put in there is not the same as what um they've listed in the in the details of the job itself that's one thing the second thing is maybe you've seen the job you you have applied for the job you go for an interview and you realize that what they are actually looking for or the details they are giving you is totally different and sometimes what they tell you is that oh you start from this position and then you eventually end up in what we actually advertised this honesty through and through right from the beginning and if it's like that at the beginning stage of your um employee life cycle you know that it's going to continue whilst you are there and you don't want to find yourself in a situation like that the next tip you want to look out for in a job ad that is a huge red flag is when the salary is so low or extremely so high so when you check uh, previous videos where i talk about salaries i always say do your research most organizations are operating either of these three compensation philosophies the leading the lagging and then the market rate so some want to lead the market in terms of how much they pay their employees some want to pay a little less and some also are paying just at the market rate now so you've done your research and you know that oh for this role this how much they should be paid and they are paying extremely low or they are paying extremely high that person paying very low probably doesn't value the skill that you have that person paying very high also has something in the job experience that they are compensating for which may not be desirable for you so you would want to look into that a bit more before applying. everybody likes nice you know things if you're going to do a job that is going to be paying you ridiculously um, more than what the market rate demands you would want to look into it a bit so that you don't find yourself later in a frustrating situation the final tip i want to share with you is that you see a job ad and then they write a employment type contract when you see that the organization is going to treat you as a contract staff you will not be receiving the usual perks and benefits that a full-time staff will be enjoying now some companies use that as a test and see tactic they want to test and see whether you would be the right fit or they're just needing you for a certain duration of time for a certain project which is okay if that's what you're looking for but if what you're looking for is a full-time long-term employment then you don't just uh, want to apply for a job even when it's stated there that it's a contract type of engagement so there you have it these are tips to look out for as red flags in a job ad that tells you that hey you might be heading for an experience you're not prepared for thank you so much for watching today's video i'd like you to share your comments with me what do you think have you experienced anything like that let us know in the comment section also like subscribe and share and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you'll be notified 
of my next video where i talk about red flags to show you that someone or an organization is going to be a bad employer thank you so much